In the last few years, we have seen that for a ferromagnetic material, the magnetization will decrease when the temperature is increased. And if we reach some particular temperature called Curie temperature, it loses its ferromagnetic property and it will become a paramagnetic material. Now, we will see how does the magnetic material, that is the ferromagnetic material will behave when it is placed in an ex external field below the Curie temperature. And this behavior is given by the hysteresis loop. It defines how the ferromagnetic material behaves when it is subject to the external magnetic field below the Curie temperature. Now, suppose if I make the temperature constant at some particular value below the Curie temperature and the magnetization of the specimen is zero initially when the field is not applied because we have seen that in the ferromagnetic materials also domains will be oriented randomly that the net magnetization won't be there. Right. So if I apply the magnetic field externally, what happens is domains start orienting themselves along the direction of the external magnetic field and thus the magnetic field increases. Right. This is the magnetization of the material and H is the external magnetic field we applied. If I increase the external magnetic field, the magnetization increases and it reaches some saturation value. And after reaching saturation value, suppose if I remove the external magnetic field then to the magnetization of the material is lost is not lost this it will remain because we are making the temperature as constant and that magnetization is called residual magnetization this is called residual magnetization so in order to decrease the magnetization what we do is we apply the magnetic field in the opposite direction that is we'll apply it in the opposite direction that is called cohesive magnetic field and this is the magnetization in the opposite direction when the field is applied in the reverse direction. This is called hysteresis loop. That is, it defines the behavior of the ferromagnetic material when it is placed in the external magnetic field. Now we will discuss what are anti-ferromagnetic materials. Anti-ferro, the name itself says anti-ferro, that is opposite of the ferromagnetic. The, in anti-ferromagnetic materials, the magnetic moment of the adjacent atoms will align in opposite direction. That is same in magnitude but opposite in direction. That is the total magnetic moment of the material is zero. See, if we go closely, the magnetic moment of the adjacent atoms are equal and opposite everywhere and net, the net magnetic moment will be zero. When I place this material in external magnetic field, then to the magnetization of this material is zero. This type of materials are called anti-ferromagnetic materials. Now we see how these materials will behave when the temperature is increased. And these anti-ferromagnetic materials will have positive susceptibility and when I increase the temperature, see this, when I increase the temperature, the susceptibility increases and it reaches a maximum value at particular temperature called Neel temperature, Tn. That temperature is called Neel temperature and after the Neel temperature, the susceptibility of the magnetic that is anti-ferromagnetic anti material will decrease and it will become a paramagnetic material, right? And we will see how the Curie special law will be there for this type of materials. For this type of material, susceptibility is equal to C, that is material specific constant by T, applied temperature plus theta. Remember, this is not minus theta, but this is plus theta, where theta is the nil temperature. What is nil temperature? The temperature at which the susceptibility of anti-ferromagnetic material will be in the maximum value. Now we see what are ferrimagnetic materials. In ferrimagnetic materials, also called ferrites, they are also as same as anti-ferromagnetic materials, but the difference is in ferrimagnetic materials, the dipole moment of the adjacent atoms won't be equal. They are opposite in direction, but they are not equal in magnitude. It makes that there will be net magnetic moment present in the ferromagnetic, ferrim, sorry, ferrimagnetic materials, that is ferrites. But this magnetic moment is not as much or as large as we see in ferromagnetic materials. So ferrimagnetic materials will have net, dip, net dipole moment or net magnetization and anti-ferromagnetic materials will have zero magnetization. And for this ferrimagnetic materials also, above one particular temperature called Curie temperature, like Neel temperature we have seen for anti-ferromagnetic material, there is some particular temperatures called Curie temperature, where the magnetization will become zero and the material becomes paramagnetic.
थैंक यू इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब